Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And on this channel, I like to make some tips and tricks videos, some what sold videos, and a lot of haul videos. And my favorite place to source is the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound. You pay about $1.39 a pound at my particular location, but it varies depending on what location you like to shop at. So today I have probably right around 50 pounds of clothes. <laughs> I think I spent around $45. Um, I actually checked out four separate times at the Goodwill outlet today because I could not get a cart. So it was really frustrating today. I had to just keep, um, like whenever I got, you know, a, a large amount of stuff, I would check out, take it out to my car, then bring my Ikea bag back inside and fill it up again. When that bag got filled up, I'd go back out again. So just about every rotation that happened at the bins, I ended up checking out afterwards and then coming back inside just because my shoulders were killing me already carrying that bag with all the stuff I did buy. So anyway, probably didn't need all that information, but um, it was just kind of a crazy day at the bins, but I feel like I found some really good stuff some good vintage items, some modern items. I got some hard goods, some fragile hard goods. Hopefully nothing broke <laughs> between here and the car. And I also have a bag full of shoes and I got some really good shoes. So if you wanna see those shoes and hard goods, stay tuned to the end. I am gonna start out with the clothing. So first bag right here, let's get into it. Okay, this first item, I'm not sure if I should have got this or not. It just said Royal Dalton, which I feel like is China. Like I feel like there's like China, like little porcelain glasses and stuff that is made by this brand. It doesn't, it feels kind of like polyester-ish, but um, it was hand rolled on the edges and that's why I grabbed it. Let me show you what like hand rolled looks like. It looks hand rolled. Y'all, I'm not a pro at this, but do you see how the edges on this, they don't look sewed down, they look rolled. That's normally a sign of quality. I don't know. I kind of grabbed that last minute. Um, I got this little loft shirt. It's new without tags. It still has like, like the pull thing here. But anyway, I got that to take to Clothes Mentor because it's super lightweight and it's got like a little zip back detailing. Super cute for summer. Um, I bought a ski suit because everyone needs a ski suit in the middle of April or end of April. So this is a vintage ski suit. Um, the brand is Ra Robbie or Rafi. I think it's Rafi. So it's like this gold logo. Anyway, it's just in such perfect condition. Like, looks like it's barely ever been worn. The ski pants are really good. The only flaw with these is the elastic on the ankle is no longer stretchy. Um, I don't feel like that's a game changer though. So anyway, the elastic up on the straps though was, was still stretchy and I felt like that was important. But anyway, it's a set and here is the top for it. And I just thought it was like a good color combo, um, really good condition. It does have a few little spots on the back, but they're surface spots that I really feel like I could just wipe off with like a wet wipe, honestly, and get it off. There's no size tag, but I feel like it'll fit me and I can, I can model this snowsuit. <laughs> and hopefully I'll just have to wait till a cooler day here because honestly, right now it's so hot that I'm sweating in the sleeveless top. I can't even imagine modeling that right now. I, I can't believe how much long sleeve things I bought. So this is UMG and um, it looks like it's new without tags. However, I cannot confirm, but it's just like this cable knit sweater that has like this discoloring to it. It's almost like a gold and purple and it has like a little cold shoulder, but really cute cable knit sweater. This is like a boutique brand. I'm expecting to maybe get $20 for that. The snowsuit, I'm expecting to get around $50 for the set. I'm going to price it higher. Hopefully I can get an offer around $50. That's what I'm hoping for. We will see. Okay, this I did not look up the comps for, but I'm thinking I can get $25 to $30 for it. It's Jordache. 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 Um, someone else was looking at this in the bins, and I was like, oh, I hope he puts it back, and he did, and I grabbed it. So it's just like this um, really, really acid-washed, cropped denim jacket with a lace-up back. I mean, how fun. So a keyword that I would use in this is corset back because corsets are really having a moment right now. I listed two corsets last week, and they both sold within a few days, and there was nothing special about either of the corsets I listed. One was like vintage Fredericks of Hollywood, not great quality. The other one was unbranded made 
made in China and they both sold super fast. So anyway, corset style items seem to be going quick right now. So this does have a few spots on it, but um, I'm gonna list it just as is and call it a day. See, there's a little spot there. Um, I ran out of Whip It Cleaner. I need to order more. My mom actually gave me, like, she made me a concentrate and put it in another bottle. So I haven't actually bought Whip It myself. I've been using her concentrate and I ran out. So I need to either mooch some more off of her or just buy some. I'll probably just buy some. <laughs> um, I got a Tory Burch bag. I always grab these when I come across them because you never know when you're gonna run into some Tory Burch and you want a cute little bag to put it in. Also, I sell those by themselves and they, they move for me. Okay, here's another scarf. This one does feel like silk and it also has that like hand rolled looking edge to it. So just a really pretty scarf and it feels like silk, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's no tag on it. But um, yeah, so I'll probably get like $10 for that scarf because there's no logo on it. Okay, so an REI pair of pants, they're a size six and they're just hiking pants. They're the kind that you can cut like unzip and they can become hiking shorts. So I just feel like this time of year, everyone's getting outdoors, going outside more because the weather's getting nicer. So I figured these would be worth picking up. I'm expecting to get maybe get 20 bucks for those. Um, another scarf. This one has just a really pretty print to it. I picked this up just based on style. I did not look up the brand. Um, it does say the specialty house, 100% silk. It doesn't feel like silk to me, but um, it says 100% silk. So we're gonna go with that, but really pretty scarf. Another scarf, this is like a winter scarf, just like a cable knit, really classic style scarf. Honestly, if I lived somewhere where I needed a scarf, I would keep this, but I mean, there's probably like two days a year when scarves are actually practical here. All right, this is from the Kennedy clan of Ireland, around sweatersmarket.com, and it's 100% merino new wool. Anyway, that label looked good. I have not looked it up yet, but um, I knew it was worth what I was paying for it. Um, at the lowest, I'll get like, you know, $10 for it. Um, if it ends up being a good brand, who knows, maybe I'll get more. Okay, just a few more things in this bag. I have a maternity um, nursing bra. It's like perfect condition. Looks like it was never worn. It's for motherhood maternity and it's a size 40 double D. But um, yeah, it's a nursing bra. You can tell it's nursing because it has these little straps up here. Plus it's motherhood maternity. So yeah, so it unlatches. But yeah, I feel like this would be something that maybe someone would look up online trying to find a better deal on and hopefully they'll buy it from me. Okay, this I might keep because honestly it's really cute, but if not, I have a feeling I could sell it. It's Hollister, it's a size small, and it's like this super cropped sweater um, in gray. And yeah, if it fits me, I'm keeping it, but if I decide I don't like it, I'll sell it. But cropped sweaters seem to be trendy right now, even though I just don't feel like I should be stocking up on sweaters right now, but here I am, nonetheless. <laughs> okay, this was a good find. I found this Victoria's Secret little nighty thing, <laughs> corset nighty. Um, yeah, it's brand new with tags guys. And look at, look at that, man. There is a lot to this. It's got like that cross strap in the front, the, it's got all the things, all the things. <laughs> um, it was priced at $98, but then it has a sale sticker on it that says $39.99. I'm going to try to peel that off, but, um, I'm hoping I can get around 30, 39, 30. I'll probably price it around $39. And expect to get around 30 for it but we'll see i'm going to look up this style since i actually have the tag still attached but yeah new with tags i like looked it over very carefully to make sure there was nothing wrong with it but i couldn't find anything so i was happy with that okay so i don't really know about this brand it is willow and root some other people had tagged this as being from buckle i couldn't confirm but there was other jackets listed like this around the 30 to 40 dollar range and I just thought this was really cute. It's like a little fur jacket, very lightweight for um, faux fur, obviously. And um, it kind of gave me like vintage vibes. I, it feels like some vintage coats that I've picked up in the past. Yeah, it's a size small. It's really cute. I honestly, it's just so lightweight and I liked the style. That's why I picked it up. I don't know that it's gonna go for a whole lot. Um, like I said, there's others listed for 40 but it's not exactly the perfect time of year to be picking that up. Yet I still got it. So hoping to get around anywhere from 25 to $40 on that. I got this shirt for myself. If it doesn't fit, I will sell it. So it's just a loft um, eyelet lace hot pink top. I just like eyelet lace. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It's loft. If they don't, if it doesn't fit me, I'll sell it to clothes mentor. 
Um, this skirt is darling. It, I think it's going to be too big for me, but I wish it fit me because look at all that embroidery. Ah, oh, it's so fun. So this is just loft, but I might sell it myself because it does, it is like a really interesting pattern and style. And if I'm going to sell loft or tell bits or like any bread and butter brand like that, I like it to be something interesting, something with some defining detail. And this embroidery makes it really special. Okay, this I'm going to take to Clothes Mentor. It's just a, um, like a poncho kimono type deal thing. It's got like this velvet burnout fabric with these flowers on it. And it's a one size fits all type thing. Yeah, the brand is Woven Heart. But anyway, I thought that was really cute. And Play-Dohs or Clothes Mentor, they take this kind of stuff all the time. Um, I'll probably take this to Play-Dohs. It's an MTV cropped hoodie. So that definitely looks like something Play-Dohs would buy. We'll see though, because I do live in Florida and I don't know, we don't need sweaters year round, but hopefully they'll take it. It, it just feels cozy, like something someone could wear around the house in their air conditioning in Florida. <laughs> Um, I got another pair of pants that I'm going to take to Clothes Mentor. You know, these are kind of heavy. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed these. This probably cost me like $1.39 and I make $3. So I'm only really doubling my money on this. Not a great buy on my part. But um, the brand is just Indigo Rain. And it is new with this tag that says Linen Blend. But um, really cute, like detailed waist. If these are my size, I would keep them. But they're like great beach pants. Really airy and breathable. I'll probably sell this myself. It's just a torrid top and it's very flouncy and off the shoulder style. Um, yeah, really cute floral print torrid top. And I'm sure you've seen the torrid logo like a million times, but I do like selling torrid. I'm not showing you the logos or brands as much on the stuff I'm taking a clothes mentor because I don't think it's really as important for me to show you that. <laughs> um, if you want to see more details about like what Clothes Mentor takes from me and what actually I sell to them, how much money I make, I have videos about that and I'll link the playlist down below if you want to check it out. Okay, I got this based on style because it, it reminds me of things that I'm actually seeing nowadays like on the runway and on like fashion bloggers websites. But um, this like sweetheart neckline style with this floral print um, and the fact that it's like cropped just the whole style of it looks like something I'm seeing currently. Um, so anyway, the brand is just Karen Stevens. There is no size tag on it, but I'm going to guess it's like a size six. I feel like it'll fit my mannequin perfectly. It's probably a little big on me, but these shoulder pads can come out. So if someone wants to take those out, they can, but I just got it based on print and style. I think it's so adorable and precious. Probably $25 for that. Okay. This dress, um, I found after I had already gone through this whole rotation and then on my way out, I saw this laying on top of something and I was like, that is so cute. I might keep this guys. So the brand is Sante Classics. It's a size small. I picked this up based on style. If I were to sell this, which I, I don't know, I probably will. It'll go for around 25 to $30. It has pockets, which is wonderful. And it's just like that moo moo style dress. That's probably a, a style keyword I would use. Moo moo house dress. Um, this fabric, I'm trying to remember the, the style of fabric, what it's called. Muslin almost fabric. Oh, I can't remember the word for it. If I remember, I'll put it here. <laughs> um, I got this pillowcase. It's a, one of those king size pillowcases. I really just liked the print, man. I could like make a cute little skirt or top out of this, but um, I'm going to give it to my mother-in-law. She asked me to pick up pillowcases for her and I got her this pillowcase as well. You can sell pillowcases though on eBay. Just sell them off one by one. Um, I also got this Florida Gators towel. Um, I just thought the print on it looked really boutique-y and cute. Um, I might sell that. If not, oh, here it is. Cat Studio College Collection. Um, if it's not worth anything, I'll give it to my aunt because she likes to make throw pillows out of stuff like this. Um, but if it is good, then I will sell it myself. But I just thought for Gators fans, I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, last, well, almost, we're getting to the bottom of this bag, is this really pretty scarf. It just feels like a lightweight, summery scarf for those who like to wear scarves in summer, but it looks hand-dyed almost, and um, I haven't looked up this brand yet, but it's made in India, 100% cotton, and here's the brand. So, I just thought it was cute, and that's why I got it, and it weighs like nothing, so 
that's all my justification that I need for that item. I got this for me if it fits. If not, I'll take it to Clothes Mentor. It's just a loft vintage soft top. I liked the color. I liked the fit. So, yep, I'll keep that. Um, next is this Harley Davidson top. It's a size large and it's like this tropical Harley top. So like all these tropical trees with Harleys parked next to them. How fun is that? And it has like these metal coated buttons. Um, so yeah, it looks like an older style. It says made in the USA and that, that tag maybe looks like 2000s, 90s, whatever. Oh, I just realized the sleeve has some wear to it. Lovely. This is why you inspect things a little closer at the bins. I think it was harder for me to inspect and really sort today because my first bag I sorted on the floor at the bins. Like I'm bending down, sorting through stuff because I don't have a cart to sort in. Then, then after that, I got smart and I started setting my bag in a bin that people were not shopping in and sorting through it in there and kind of like setting stuff aside. But it just wasn't as easy because... A cart just makes things a lot easier. So I don't know if I'll repair that or if I'll sell it or what, but that's a bummer. Okay, let's look at the glass stuff I got and hopefully none of it's broken. Yikes. And then we'll move on to the shoes. I got this mug, which I just got because I thought it was really cute. Um, Mary Ellen Bastion, 1997. That's the logo on it. I don't know anything about it. I just got it because look at this like cottage core, nature core, style print. I just thought that kind of goes along with the vibe that people are really into right now, all this outdoorsy stuff. I just thought it was cute and from 97. Okay, this is a dog mom mug, making sure nothing got shipped. Our name is Mud is the brand. Never heard of that brand, but um it's just so adorable and it's got all these cute little details on it. So I thought this would be a good bundling piece for Poshmark, but honestly stuff like this, I sold a mug on Facebook Marketplace last week for $25. <laughs> it was a 80s mom mug, if you want to know. Um, but it's just crazy to me that, that mugs, people will pay $10, $15 for a mug. But I guess I've paid a lot of money for mugs I've liked before, like an anthropology. So, I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, like, mugs do hold value. Okay, so this mug I saw on eBay selling anywhere from $10 to $20. Um, it's Atagari. I don't know, but it's made in Japan and that's what made me look it up. So I just really liked this nautical print on it and it's um, like a nice, I don't know, stoneware style mug, but there's so many cute sea animals on there that I would want to use in the title and it's just a really cute mug. Honestly, my husband might want this. He really likes whales. <laughs> he likes whales and outer space. So, okay, I just got this mug because I thought it was funny. I don't work here. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. But um, this brand, I have sold like phone cases by them before. It's kind of like a Urban Outfitters trendy Nordstrom brand from what I could find about it. Um, maybe Francesca sells stuff like this. But I just thought it was funny and that's why I got it. So if I had a coworker, I would give them this just because I think it's funny. Okay, a few more things. I got this for myself. Um, I've seen these cute little glass boxes at like home goods before, but I am so cheap guys. Like I'm like, that is so pretty, but I don't want to pay $25 for it. Well, I didn't pay $25 for it. So I got this cute little glass box for, um, less than a quarter probably. Cause all of these mugs and everything I got hard goods wise here, I paid a dollar 50 for total. So yeah, I got a really good deal on this and I just thought it was so pretty like look at the edges of this it's like a brass color um it does have like a little nail hole oh this one fell off but um I plan on using it just to like put jewelry in or makeup or whatever I just thought it was cute and I'm gonna use it for organizing so really pretty okay next I got this wooden frame it's Chinese hardwood teak wood finish um teak wood stuff seems to sell for me and this had like a mid-century modern type feel to it. It's It looks like it's from probably the 90s, but um, yeah, it just looked really well made and I liked it. And hopefully I can ship this without breaking the glass. I'm getting brave here shipping a picture frame. I don't know that I've shipped one before. Okay, moving on to shoes and the one bag I got. So the first bag, the first thing I got was this bag. It's by Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, it says 100% paper, that's funny. So 
there is the logo but I got this based on style um, I thought the print on the inside was really cool and then the outside is just like this braided paper raffia style bag I've sold this type of style of bag many times before it's a good bundling piece on Poshmark they sell alone I mean they, they just sell they're like a good summer all-purpose bag I, I mean I just really like the look of it so whenever I see bags like this at the bins I usually grab them it doesn't really matter brand it's probably like a 15 25 dollar sale in between there somewhere okay so first thing I found in the shoe rotation were these Birkenstocks funny story with these so when I grabbed the Birkenstocks there was actually a black one with a silver one and they were rubber banded together so they didn't match but um I didn't notice till I was sorting through my bag and actually I I like I kind of noticed at the corner of my eye but I wasn't sure if I was seeing what I was seeing because you just grab stuff so fast like basically when I am sourcing at the bins I grab anything that catches my interest and I sort it through later so I didn't really know that I had mismatched shoes so one of my bins buddies comes up to me and goes hey you didn't happen to pick up two mismatched Birkenstocks did you and I'm like I think I might have so I pulled it out and sure enough so I asked him if I could have the black ones and he said sure he kept the silver ones so it was a win-win for both of us which that that rarely happens normally one person finds a shoe and the other person wants it but we were able to just trade and everyone was happy everyone won he's like you made my day and I'm like you made mine so these are a size 40 Birkenstock um look at they look brand new I was so excited about these so these should go for like 30 to 40 dollars that's just me guessing I have not looked up this particular style but um maybe more because they're in really good condition there's some little bit of wear there but overall really great condition so look out for Birkenstocks at the bins even if they're trashed as long as they're not falling apart they will still sell <laughs> okay next I got some little itty bitty Uggs so these are some little kids Uggs look at how cute they are so there's the logo and they have like these little rainbows around them they're like a suede fabric um, they look real you have to watch out for Uggs to not buy fakes but these look real to me and there was like the little holographic logo on the inside um, usually you want to look out for that little holographic piece to make sure that they're real because Uggs are often faked so I'm gonna look up and make sure I can find this exact style but I'm pretty sure these are authentic I do have like an Ugg cleaning kit so I may clean up the toes on these a little bit to try to get a little more for them but I don't even really know what these are worth I just got them because they're Uggs and Uggs resell well and they're just cute okay next I got another good brand these are Dansko and normally I find Dansko like nurse shoes but these are a cute pair of little booties and they're in this maroon purpley color really pretty I wish are these my size because if they are I might just have to keep them size 37 I don't even know what that means <laughs> so I'm really glad that Poshmark has European sizing now so I don't have to convert the size for people and avoid like I can avoid a return so before you had to like convert the size based on the brand chart and you're always like oh is this the right conversion so now I'll just put size 37 and people will hopefully find it so yeah really cute little booties I looked these up on eBay really quick and someone else had sold a similar pair for like $40 I believe so yeah I'm excited to list these okay these were kind of like a risk because I couldn't find anything about them so they're these boots um the brand is joie which is only written on the bottom okay they're a size 35 they feel like real leather but there is no markings on the inside like at all um, besides the the brand written in the bottom of the shoe so yeah it's kind of hard to know anything else about them but I do have the size and the brand and those are the two most important things um, I didn't even find comps on these but shoes by joie seem to be going for at least $30 and that seems like a good enough comp starting out for me so yeah really soft little boots um they almost feel like moccasins okay here's the dance goes that i normally find these are just some regular nurse style dance goes size 37 um good bread and butter piece these should go for around 25 to 35 dollars i'm thinking um you always want to make sure you give them a good old bend before you buy them because if they have dry rot you want them to fall apart for you before um you send them to the buyer so anyway i hope these are not dry rotted i've heard so many horror stories of people selling these shoes and them literally falling apart 
And um, if they do, you know, refund the buyer. But um, these seem to be in good condition. I did a lot of bending, but the leather part of them, I mean, there's not even really any scuffs on them, which is so rare. Normally when I find them, they're a little more trashed. So yeah, those seem to be in good condition. I have two more pairs of men's shoes and then we're done. So these are some Sperry Top Sider shoes. Um, this style isn't gonna go for a lot, maybe $30, but they're leather, they're size men's 13. Um, yeah, I, I just looked them up really quick and they look like they're only gonna go for like 25 to $30, but they looked almost new, so I got them. There is a little bit of wear on the leather on the toe, but other than that, they're in really good condition. So I like just having a variety of styles in my closet, so that's why I grabbed those. These need to be cleaned, but I feel like they should clean up really nice. They're Chaco's um, men's size 10. There is an M on the bottom and it says 10, so that's how you know that they're men's shoes. <laughs> But um, anyway, they do need a lot of cleaning. They're really dirty. I may just let these soak or spray them off with a hose outside or all of the above. So yeah, but I think these should clean up really well and then hopefully I can get around 30 to $40 for them. Okay, I think I have a pair listed now that are women's that are in really good condition listed around $50 and I might need to drop the price a little bit. But anyway, I was excited to find those as well. So that is my haul guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I got at the bins today. It was a crazy day, but I feel like I got some really good stuff that I can resell. So I'm excited to get all this stuff listed and hopefully over the next day or two, I'll be able to get it listed because yeah, I just, I'm excited about everything I got. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.